Good morning folks. Well today my cables came in and I remember telling you on uh, my last video that I ordered uh, a package of two 100 foot cables and I inadvertently clicked two packages so now I got four 100 foot reels of cable but that's okay because these things are noted for getting bad connections and loose you know um, these cables seem to be heavier than the ones the shorter ones that I've got uh, that came with the camera and the one that I ordered from eBay so these here were also ordered from eBay but they are 100 percent copper and um, they seem to be somewhat thicker we're going to be making some tests on these cables all four of them and make sure there's no loose connections and so forth I'm going to be using two of the 100 foot rolls and the other two will be kept as spares but what I may do and it won't be done on camera is uh, probably run two 100 foot cables at the same time up to the camera uh, at the corner of the roof uh, that way I have a backup wire that I can tack into uh, to switch over should anything happen to the uh, original uh, wire that I run up there because I have the extra hundred foot anyhow so let me go show you what I got here okay um, they uh, come from eBay and they're from um, High Tech Lifestyle Incorporated I don't know if that's the eBay seller name or not but they're out of Tracy California uh, all copper so they came as a package of two and I inadvertently clicked two on the bid so I was conf uh, I was committed to bid on it so uh, naturally I'd have to write to the uh, the seller and say I made a mistake and I wanted only one package of two because they sold as a package of two for uh, I think it was 1895 or something like that for two and these are 100 footers so I go, all right so I got four of them so but they are heavier the, uh, the wires here are heavier uh, then the other wires a little bit not a lot and the wire is thicker here um, than the 66 foot one that I got um, for the front porch camera which by the way I mounted off video yesterday but I did not run the wire yet we're gonna run these I'm gonna hook these up and uh, we're going to hook the power supply up and we're going to check each one of these um, reels and make sure there is no loose connections. You can see an ugly old fart in the uh, on the screen here. Now we're just going to move these wires. I'm not going to flex them too much. But I just want to make sure that there isn't any loose connection. There's a YouTube video on a guy checking out wires like this and that gave me the idea that maybe I should go and check these out there's nothing worse than running these things and finding out that you got a bad connection in here because you know these things are use very very thin wire inside so we got a good signal there let's go check this end this is the power wire and this is the video we seem to be okay it doesn't guarantee it so now we'll go to the uh, next wire set okay this is the second wire set here and uh, of course we're doing this one-handed but I think if there's any problems it would be cutting out trouble would usually be right in in these areas here if there was going to be any problem okay there let's see what we got down here okay I guess we're okay I don't want to flex and flex and flex because that could make a problem um, these seem to be, I was wrong on this, this is uh, about the same thickness as the uh, 66 foot, which is right here, 
It seems to be the same thickness right in here. This is the 66 foot one that I can't use. I can, I can use this on the porch, but I can't use it on there because it's not far, not long enough. It won't make the distance, but the, dis the thickness of this wire here, the video and the um, power, close as I can tell, it's the same. I mean, I didn't put a uh, mic on it, but put a cal uh, caliper on there and, and check it out. But I think it's it's close enough. The only other way you could do this is to use RG59 coax, but you remember you're only putting about me six megacycles of video. You're not putting RF through it. So that's why these things are okay. And as you can see, the ugly goat shows up pretty clear in here. Okay, this is uh, cable set number three. And uh, I'm moving these wires here. Everything's fine. I'm not going crazy with the uh, with the movement here because I don't want to cause a problem. I'm just going normal. Okay, everything's fine. Okay. That's why I'm going to run two of these parallel. I'm just going to, you know, bring them through. And when I thread them through, I'm going to put them through by way of a loop, nylon loop, and then just pull on the nylon loop because this wire here is thin, and if you put a lot of pressure on it, you're going to uh, break it internally and uh, it's going to be useless. So rule number three is fine. Cable set number four. All right, off camera I moved these around because I had been able to do it with two hands. No uh, loose connections. Like I say, if there's going to be any problems, it will be right in these areas right here. So I think we're looking we're looking good on this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, R O H S. Um, I don't know whether that's a uh, company that man actually manufactured it, whether they checked it or a certification or what. But these cables seem to be just fine. Okay, this is where I got it. And of course, there's plenty of places that sell it, but I made made the mistake of hitting two in here because I was looking at so many of these deals. That I, I should have left it at one, so it was double the 1898, unfortunately, but I think I got a pretty good deal. So, anyhow, I hate the way I can never get anything to read over here, everything's shifted to the right here. Does it on some web pages, especially eBay, but, anyways, a 75 ohm. Conductor, pure copper. I gotta leave them feedback, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so that concludes this video. So anytime you do order cables, always run them through the test before you mount your cameras to make sure that uh, everything's good with them because you do get uh, defects at times. And uh, like I say, I watched a YouTube video about that and. Uh, I just said, you know, I better try this and make sure my cables are okay. So all's okay right now. So thank you for watching. You have a good day.